Hi fellows, it's the Mash, and uh, I want to share a few thoughts with you before Rosh Hashanah, before Yom Adin, and certainly a, express my gratitude and perhaps even a bracha. Last, yesterday we took the Talmidim, the new fellows, we went to Kefir Rochel, we went to the Kosa. By the way, welcome to my new office. Right, this is, uh, we're in the, in the dormitory building, but we have a beautiful base medrash, and, uh, and uh, we have a very, very special group of young people that are with us this year. So we went to Kevin Rachel, and you know what Kevin Rachel, on the bus, I spoke to the fellows, and we sang, V'shavu banim l'gvulam. We sang the words of Yirmiyahu and Navi. I said, do you know, do you know why we have the schus, the merit to be here on the way to Kefir Rachel? To be able to, 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 to shed our tears, you know, where so many of our people throughout the centuries shed tears, Kefir Rachel and the Kosal. Why are we here today? It's because of Rachel. Because of one incident. One incident. And this incident happens to be the secret, foolproof way of being successful on Yom HaDin, on Rosh Hashanah. You know the incident, but listen carefully. When we were forced out, Korban by Sheni, the base of Midrash was destroyed, Yerushalayim was in flames, people were fleeing, so many were killed, children, the Avos, just before that all happened, the Avos went to Hashem. And the Avos said, Hashem, Avram Vino went and said, you know, I, I brought my only son. I was a hundred years old. My only son that meant so much to me and to the future of Klai Israel. I brought him to the Akeda. I binded him myself. Please. Have mercy on our people. And and Yitzchak Avinu came and said, I allowed my father to tie me to the to the altar. When my father told me that that Hashem will provide the son, my son, I understood what he meant. And I allowed him to do it. Please listen to me. Have mercy on my people. And Yaakov Avinu got up and said, for twenty Yet I worked from Lavan, and then he tried to destroy me and kill my children. And Asaph stood up and fought against me. And all this I was loyal to Hashem. Please have mercy on your people. But it was the time of the Chorban, the time of terrible Midas Hadin. And even the Avos couldn't change Hashem's mind. And then Kaifis Rachel, Rachel jumped up and Rachel said, Master of the universe, you know how much I loved Yaakov Avinu. You know how much I dreaded what people said that I would fall into the lap of Asaph. No, I'm sorry. It was Leah who was dreaded and, and feared to fall in the lap of Asaph, right? But you know, she said, you know how much I loved Yaakov Avinu. And still, when my father plotted to switch me for, to switch Leah for me on my wedding day, right, I told it to Yaakov. And we arranged some money so he would know that it was I and not Leah. But then, when my father actually switched Leah for me, I realized that my, my sister would be embarrassed what she would go through. And I, I could let it be done to her. So I gave up my love for Yaakov Avinu. I gave up my dread of falling into the lap of Asaph. And I gave the Semanim. I gave the Semanim to Leah. But not only that, and this is the uncensored version, not only that, I hid under the bed 
like Yaakov was together with my sister Leah, because our voices were not the same. And when Yaakov spoke, I answered. I did that. I am flesh and blood. I overcame my jealousy. I overcame my jealousy. Not to embarrass my sister. Master of the universe, please. How can you be jealous of absolute nothingness that our people go astray and make mistakes in the Eva de Vodazara? Master of the universe, have mercy and return us to Eretz Israel. And the prophet Yermiyahu says that your words are not in vain. Your children will return. It's because of Rachel's overcoming her feelings, her emotions, her desires, that we were worthy of returning, that we are worthy of living today in Eretz Israel. Kol Amavira Midosov, Chazal tell us, anybody who overcomes his Midos, gives a seat to somebody else, does a chesed, takes away all feelings of kepetus, anybody overcomes, Hashem will forgive him for all his averas. That's the secret formula to have a good din on Rosh Hashanah. Overcome our meters. Fellas, I just want to thank you. I want to use this opportunity to thank all of the alumni for your loyalty for all you've for all you've done to enable Neve to exist and nest over the years. And I want to say that we daven for all of you, both at Kevin Rachel and the Kosal. We will daven for you also on Rosh Hashanah and give you a Mishaberach. Daven for the Shiva as well. That together all of us should be worthy of overcoming our Midos and in Simcha. And in, 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 the, in, in the pleasure of being close to Hashem. Ashrei Am Yodei Trua. We're going to, we, 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 we can't wait for the moment when we can welcome Hashem as Melech of the whole cosmos together with the schus of all the work we're doing in the way for Kalei Yisrael and all the work you're, you're doing to support us. But that schus we should deserve among, together with all brothers and Achenu Bnei Yisrael, we should be worthy of, 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 of a good year, a, a, a year of growth in Ruchnias, a year of health, a year of happiness, a year of prosperity, a year when we can all join together and greet the Mashiach, a year of Geula.